mangroves are a, coast, a coastal forest um, that sits between basically the sea and the land. Um, and why they're important is they provide um, African communities with a set of something called ecosystem services and functions. And basically beyond what a tree would represent, it, there's a whole pile of functions in, in the sort of the natural systems. Um, some of the most important that a mangrove provides are habitats for fisheries. So during 80% of fish at some stage in their livelihoods will come into the roots of mangroves and seek refuge, breed, um, and not only fish, crustaceans and, and crabs and other things. Um, uh, mangroves have an ability to sequester carbon dioxide, so from a climate change perspective they're very important. They protect the coast from sea level rise, from disaster risks, so they're natural protection. So if, if a country is making a decision to build a wall or maintain its mangrove, it has an, an economic function that it, that it, that it provides. Um, anyway, and there's a multitude of different, it's obviously aesthetic um, from a tourism perspective. And these, are all, these all have implications on the local communities living, living in the coastal belts. So tell us about these communities. How are they benefiting from the mangroves in the area? So from a subsistence perspective, a lot of African countries in Mozambique, we saw this example, is that there's not a lot of uh, sort of modern energy sources. So they collect um, on a subsistence uh, level, so, um, collect mangrove wood for, for fuel wood. Um, they also obviously, are, uh, there's a fisheries community there. So they're using, they're, they're protecting the mangroves and, and get, seeking the benefits of, of fisheries reproduction and things like that. So And then obviously they protect your villages and things from, from flooding and, and sea level rise. So there are some very direct functions that the mangroves provide local communities. Why are they under threat? Well, first of all, they, they're, not, uh, they're one of the rarest forest types, so there's not actually that many um, thousands of hectares in, in, in the world. Um, but they're under threat because they're not valued properly. People don't understand the, the holistic value that I've just explained. So when you prioritizing from an economic perspective what you're going to value and what you're not going to value, unless you understand the services that your mangroves are providing, you won't prioritize them. Um, and then I think generally, from an environmental perspective, a lot of um, natural biodiversity and ecosystems are neglected in Africa. People don't see the direct impact that, the, that these systems have on, on livelihoods and on people and living in the vicinity. So how do we protect and conserve mangroves? You can refer to my report for the, for the larger detailed explanation, um, but there are a lot of tools and mechanisms that can be used. For example, some countries have actually legally protected mangroves. They've said that um, beyond a subsistence um, uh, use, they can't be commercially used without permits, for example. And there's a variety of different tools, um, legal tools that can be used to actually protect them. You can also place them in, in protected zones so that um, you, you actually say, well, this particular area is demarcated for sustainable use only, so you can do that. But what's really important is to know how many you've got um, and to put management tools in place to protect um, areas that are particularly vulnerable or particularly important. During your work in the field, you visited many communities. Um, were they aware of their role in protecting mangroves? Well, let me give you an example from, um, we, um, from my research in Beira, which is in central Mozambique. Um, the there's, a, there's a group of um, fishermen that have created a community setup where they basically issue quotas for fishing, etc. And these guys have actually made made the direct link between fisheries numbers and sustainability of their fishing, fisheries resource and mangroves and fishing and estuaries. So it's quite interesting, they're now involved in patrols and law enforcement and there's a group of commu uh, community members close by that are actually um, now volunte volunteering and they're pl replanting mangroves, so it's, it's a very exciting um, link that's being made.